And welcome back to Let's Play Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. Time for bed. Not bad. About 40k last night. Alright, before we do anything though, there is one thing I kind of want to do. Other than talk to Cliff. Uh, I think we've had enough of the happy music. Let's switch back to the original soundtrack. That's... better? Honestly, I'm still not sure how much I like the... Like, happier winter themes of later games. Like, they're more Christmassy than the originals. Honestly, what are you doing? Oh, uh, more apples? I don't want any more apples. Fine, whatever. But yeah, I'm still not sure how much I prefer the old, like, more somber themes compared to the newer, happier themes. Honestly, it kind of just depends on my mood. Anyways, I wasn't paying attention. What did I buy? I bought an apple. It's only 500 gold, whatever. Just to get them off my uh, tail. Oh, hey, that's right. Van's favorite. Oh, that's also right. Van's in town today. I think I'm going to pay him a visit to just see what he has for sale. If he has something good, honestly... If he has something good for sale, I think I might just straight up buy it. I'm not going to go out of my way to raise like 10 million gold to get that mountain... Or not the mountain cottage. The yeah, town cottage in this playthrough, but... If Van brings me something that I really want... I'm just gonna bite the bullet and just buy it. It's got it's gotta be something special though. If it's all the all BGM pack, I'm totally getting ugh, all BGM pack. I'm totally getting that. All right, get some platinum mayonnaise going. We're good. Alright, everyone outside, and let's go take care of our livestock, and then we'll head to town for a little while. Alright, who's ready to be milked? Everyone is. Oh, hey! The, uh, butter maker's here. Actually, now that the butter maker's here, maybe we should go back to the spring mine for a little while. I honestly wouldn't mind getting some more mythic ore to just, like, make some mythic tools with. Because we still have a bunch of tools we need to upgrade. What have we upgraded so far? We've upgraded the fishing rod, the watering can, and the sickle, I want to say. So what, that's still three tools left to upgrade? The hammer, axe, and hoe. Still not sure which one I would want to upgrade first. Maybe the axe? Eh. We'll see. Alright, let's get this into- oh, nope, not you. Let's get this into the cheese maker, because we're not going to use the mayonnaise maker- or not the mayonnaise maker, the, uh, butter maker. Get that shipped off. And then let's just get everyone some food. Also, still not growing up cream. A little longer, a little longer. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm not sure if we'll have enough time to get the, uh, last cow before the end of the game. We're gonna have to see about that. Alright, where's my horse? Let's go. Alright, first stop is... You know what? We have time and we're like in pretty good shape right now. Let me just see if I can quickly find some mythic ore. So we need to make it down to floor 102 without falling. Come on, give me the stairs. Also, yeah, I've always noticed that I keep saying stairs, even though in this game they're technically ladders. It's just kind of a force of habit. From uh, playing the original Friends of Mineral Town, where they were literal stairs in the ground. I think a lot of the old Harvest Moon games did that. Well, Story of Seasons games. It's gonna be so it's so weird just referring to them as technically their story of seasons now. It's just that Harvest Moon has been, like, so drilled into my mind ever since I was a child. I just kind of instinctively know it by that name, even if it's technically wrong. Although it is still technically right, because that is the name of the American versions. Also, game, please give it the stairs. I know they're around here somewhere. You got rid of Dead End 4s. Uh-oh. Uh, game? 
Stairs, please. Hmm. I think the game is telling me that maybe I shouldn't do this today. Yeah, I think the game is trying to tell me something. Uh... There they are! That took forever, but we found them. I'm just gonna quickly eat all of this black grass. That cannot be good for my stomach. Alright. We're gonna need to break some rocks. Alright, come on. Give me the stairs. This is a tiny floor. It can't be that hard to find. This reminds me we haven't found a pitfall at all, either. I don't know. Maybe we'll get lucky and not find any pitfalls on... Okay, thank god. I was afraid I was gonna fall into a pitfall right away. Yeah, the stairs are under a rock somewhere. Of course they are. Of course they are. The game is doing everything I can to get me out of here and just go back to town, but no. I'm going down. We only need to go down one more floor. I need food. Okay. Stairs. Found them. I'm just gonna do this to be safe. Alright, let's see if we can find that ore now that we're down here. It took a lot longer than I thought to get down here, but maybe that means we'll get lucky and just find the ore right. Oh, hey! Uh, found it. You know what? We found it early enough. Let's just keep going. Maybe we'll find two pieces. Okay, it's super tempting to sell it, but no, we should probably use it on a tool first. It's Wednesday, so they're open. So I guess we'll go to the blacksmith or, uh, later. I think the thing I would upgrade next is probably the hammer. Yeah, let's upgrade the hammer next. It doesn't really matter which one we upgrade. Unless I can find two pieces today. Like right here. Nope. Listen, I found like one piece of mythic ore. I'm good. I'm just seeing if maybe there's a second piece somewhere hidden down here. I'll see everyone. Okay, no, we're done. We're done here. Let's go. Oh, wait. You know what? While we're here, one second. I want to do a little bit of fishing. Don't mind me. Just, uh, fishing in the hot spring like a normal person. Yeah, a bit too slow. One second. There is definitely a fish in here. Don't mind me. I'm really bad at the timing on that. Okay, let me try one more time. Because there is a kingfish in the hot spring. Well, sorry, I think it's called a guardian fish in this game. I think Kingfish was a terminology used in, like, Magical Melody. Man, my reflexes on this are really bad. Okay, one last try and then we'll go. I swear. Okay, you know what? Screw you. We'll come back some other time and catch that fish. That weird hidden fish in the hot spring. Oh, nope. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, so what tool am I upgrading? Uh, the axe? Yeah, we'll grab the axe. So what, uh, it takes like... Is it five or seven days for that thing to be upgraded? Oh, you know what? If it's seven days, we kind of need to actually get started, like, right away. We only have one month left until this playthrough is over. Oh no, it's only three days. Never mind. Why did I think it was seven days? Yeah, go ahead and upgrade that for me. And 50k. Not bad. Alright, so we'll come back around Saturday or Sunday and it should be ready.
Alright, man. Let's see. At this point, I think I've kind of soft given up on getting the town cottage, so... Man, if you have something really cool to sell me, I might actually buy it. Nope, I am not buying that. The quiz book is dumb and I don't really care about it. I think that all that lets you do is just play the quiz mini game over and over again, which... Eh. Plus, I don't have 10,000, uh, or 10 million gold yet. Oh, it's also, uh, Wednesday, I just realized. One minute. You know what that means? Time to get a confession going. Oh, wait, you're not in the confessional yet. Oh, I think you start confession at 1. Okay, we'll come back then. Let me go quickly sell my dresses. My pretty dresses. Oh, that reminds me, our, uh, anniversary is coming up pretty soon. I need to find something good for Cliff. Maybe a dress? Do you think he would like dresses? I have 90 of them in storage right now. Yep, just go ahead and keep taking these. Still have no idea what you're doing with all these dresses, but hey, if you're still willing to buy them, I'm still willing to sell them, as long as supplies last. Yep, just keep taking them. Go ahead. Take my dresses. You want more dresses? I got you more dresses. I Oh, where, where are dresses? Never mind. Okay. Alright, let's do a confessional today. So, what do you guys think? Is Carter going to forgive me if I tell him that I licked, er, licked, I licked, yes, I licked the road. That's my crime. I littered. Oh, thank God he forgave me. Awesome. Alright, let's go home. Oh, I should also probably sell the rest of this ore that we got today. I don't really need it anymore. One second. There we go. Also, you know what? One second. I'm gonna try one more time. Alright, one last time. Let's go. Give me the fish. Give me the fish. Doll. Alright, one more try. Give me the fish. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm not catching this thing today, apparently. My reflexes are apparently really bad at the moment for some reason. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, you know what? Let's go home. This isn't gonna work. Whoa, what the heck just happened there? Okay, you know what? I'm going to bed. Alright, not a bad profit for the day. Hi, Cliff. Our, wait, wait, when is our anniversary? It's on the 10th, right? Yeah, another, like, week or so. Also, you know what? Let's play a little bit of other music. How about some music from a wonderful sea... Wait, hold on a second. I just noticed, this is all called a wonderful season in this game. Huh. Is that like their new localized name for a wonderful life? Honestly, I still prefer a wonderful life, but whatever. 
I guess, yeah, all these are... Actually, you know what? Just looking at it... All these would make interesting, like, subtitles. Like, Outset of Seasons would actually be a really interesting subtitle for, like, a Harvest Moon 1 remake. Like, it would be Story of Seasons, Outset of Seasons, and it would be a remake of the original game. Honestly, any game that needed a remake, that game could honestly really use a, like, from the ground up remake. Like, that game did a lot of things right, but it's also really archaic, and after playing it through again, I just cannot imagine playing through that game as a kid. That, like, again. There are just so many mechanics that that game is missing from later games, like, you know, inventory systems. Although, to be fair, it also took the series a few games to get the inventory right, too. It wasn't until... I don't think 64 had button shortcuts to, like, go through your inventory. You had to go through the menu every time. Like, I don't think it was until Back to Nature and Friends of Mineral Town where basically they gave you button shortcuts and you didn't have to go to your menu to just manage anything in your inventory. But yeah, button shortcuts were a huge deal for the series. Like... That really changed the entire flow of the game, because you didn't have to keep going to your menu every couple of seconds to do stuff. You can just use a couple of button presses and just get things out of your inventory whenever you wanted. Honestly, I think that's actually what made me like Friends of Mineral Town so much. Like, the Game Boy Advance barely had any buttons on it, but it was just so... I won't say intuitive at first, but once you got the controls down, it was really simple just play the game and you didn't really ever have to go into your menu in that one. I think Back to Nature also had fun shortcuts, didn't it? Pretty sure it did. It's been a while since I played Back to Nature, to be honest. Like, I think I played a little bit as a kid, but Friends of Mineral Town was where I spent the majority of my time. Of the two of those. Almost entirely because that game was portable. Alright, let's go take care of the chickens real quick, and then I guess we'll head to town for a little while, just to see what's happening. But yeah, there's still a ton of, like, random events around town that I just don't know how to trigger, because they require weirdly specific time, places, and weather. And also you need to know certain people, like, with a certain amount of hearts. So I'm just gonna run around town and just hope for the best. It's kinda actually been working out so far. Alright, we got some cash coming in. But yeah, I think maybe I'll wait until, like, off camera to, like, grind the ore I need to get the other tools upgraded and to make a little bit more money, because, you know, why not? Even though I said I'm not going to, like, go super hard on trying to get the, uh, not the mythic ore, the town cottage by the end of this playthrough, you never know. If I go crazy one day and just grind up 8 million gold, it might be possible. Wait, what? Oh, you're talking about, like, the mineral content of the hot spring itself. That makes sense. Also, hi, Carter. Yeah, that's not true, Carter. Half the time you yell at me every time I tell you anything. Like... You have yelled at me for some random things before. Didn't I once confess that I wanted to marry the Harvest Goddess and he got really, really angry? Also, where's my horse? There he is. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, I didn't bring the dresses with me. Whoops. Let's run home and grab some dresses to sell. Also, I guess I haven't been to the, uh... YOLO Ranch for a while, have I? One second. Okay, no random events. Yeah, don't worry, my animals love me. They're fine. Hey, doggy. Wait. Hold on a second, what? Oh, Hannah. 
I thought that said Hank for a second. I was wondering if I had accidentally named the dog at some point. Or if the game somehow knew. But no, its name is Hannah. That's normal. Alright, that was kind of freaky for a second there. Alright, but yeah, let's go home and grab some dresses to sell. Also, maybe we'll play the lottery a little bit more. You never know, maybe we'll unlock another uh, record. How many records am I missing right now? I am missing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7. 7 more. Oh, my stocking is empty. Cliff, why won't Santa give me anything? Also, shouldn't you be at work? Oh, wait, no, I don't think he leaves for work until, like, around 10 a.m. Man, it would be so nice to work just, like, within walking distance of your workplace, like Cliff does. I guess everyone does right now just because of what's going on in the world, but... That commute is so great. You're so lucky, Cliff. Alright, let's do a little bit of fishing while we're waiting for, uh... Zack to get back to open up his shop. Or, not his shop, but, like, his house. Anything good in the ocean right now? Other than fish? Flounder. I guess we can sell that. Also, yeah, I'm still not sure whose boat this is, by the way. Like, this boat has been here for years, and no one's ever used it. It's, like, all frosted over and rusted, probably. Is this thing even seaworthy anymore? I guess this is just one of the big mysteries of uh, Friends in Mineral Town. It's like the truck in Pokemon. If we push the boat, maybe we'll find Mew under there. Also, it's already past noon. Uh, let me get one more fish and then we'll get going. I kind of wish now I had fish for more like pirate treasure during the winter. Or not during the winter, during the autumn. Oh well. Oh wait, what am I doing? I said one more fish. Okay, yeah, that's a good sign that we should stop. Anyways, look what I brought. More dresses. Just keep the money coming and I'll keep the dresses coming. You don't have to worry about me running out of dresses anytime soon. Well, I have like 10 days left of dresses, I think. Yep, 12,000. Like I said, anything 12,000 or higher, I'll take. Yep, keep taking them. Go ahead. One more. Nope, I said 12,000 or higher. Thank you. Also, yeah, while I'm here, fight me. Alright, so what do we got here? We got Super Hyper, Super Hyper Angel. Okay. Super Hyper Angel. Uh, it's the middle one, right? Okay. The first stage is easy. Alright, so we got Miracle... Or wait, was it? Hyper Super Angel. Hyper Super Angel. Uh, Hyper... I think it's the right one? Okay. Okay. That's two stages down. I forget what the maximum uh, amount you can get is. Hyper. Super. Angel. Hyper Super Angel. I think it's the middle one? Okay. Stage four. Let's keep going. Super. Angel. Hyper. Super Angel Hyper. Left. Okay, that's what? Four down? Fifth stage. Super Hyper Angel. Okay, Super Hyper Angel. Is it the middle one? Oh my god. Okay, 
Uh, have we ever gone this far before? I don't know if we've ever gone this far before. Hyper Super Angel. Hyper Super Angel. Oh, crap. I think it's the middle one. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, we got five of them down, I think. How many prize tickets do I get for that? Three. Well, better than nothing. All right, come on. Give me something nice. Nope. I mean, technically that's a sequence if you count zero as ten. Well, two of a kind. Not terrible. What'd I get? Wait, what did I get? Oh, I think he gave me he gave me cabbage seeds. Alright, well, whatever. One more. Come on, I believe. I believe that I'll get a record. Nope. Alright, fine. That's a shame. Alright, in that case, I guess I'll just head home for now. And with that, actually, I think we'll end the episode here, then. So, next time on Let's Play Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town, more winter. But yeah, off-screen, I'm definitely going to do some grinding and get some more uh, Mythic Ore. I want to get all my tools upgraded before the end of the season. And maybe I'll do a little bit of grinding for money, too, depending on how lucky I get. So, till then.